Okay, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, welcome back to the channel where apparently I go crazy and cut my hair off in one night. Okay, just joking. Um, my hair has been falling out due to um, stress and everything. So uh, it was getting very thin at the ends and it was unmanageable. So last night I just got angry and chopped everything off. <laughs> um, yeah, fun times. Um, yeah, so I decided to do something that makes me happy um, and that is to film a video for you guys and I have been collecting so many books throughout like last seven or eight mo months or even long like since August I think the last time I filmed like something uh, like a book haul or a TBR was in August and since then I have acquired <laughs> Uh, many books um, what throughout friends uh, gifting me um, my, my birthday uh, Christmas so many things you know and me of course going crazy and buying all the books that I can get my hands on so the first book that I'm gonna start with is the one that I'm currently reading and I think it's gonna become one of my favorite books of all time uh, I've been very much into spring books I have a feeling that I have watched all spring recommendations uh, videos on youtube so um this one was in more than half of them it's called i capture the castle by dodie smith and it's about a girl uh, writing about her family uh, living in a castle uh, a castle is currently crumbling since her dad is not uh, taking care of them he's just sitting in his uh, study just um reading a detective novels it's about the family living there. I'm just on a page um, 54 or so, just a little tiny dent. Uh, but so far it's been amazing. I have, I think I, what I'm like telling you, I think this is going to be one of my favorite books of all time now. Um, I mean, of, of course I have to see how the story progresses, but uh, from what I've read now, the writing is just so good. Uh, I love descriptions of the crumbled castle and I don't know. I'm just gonna, um, yeah, it's the father just reading the detective novels. I love it. Um, yeah, that's the I Captured the Castle. I'm currently reading that, and you're gonna see that in my spring TBR and uh, books that um, I have already read or am gonna read in spring, for spring, whatever. So the next book that I've gotten, uh, it's called A Room with a View, and it's by Ian Forster. I've already read this a classic, it's published by Penguin, so. Um, I think it, this may be considered a modern classic. I don't know. I'm not sure. Don't quote, quote me on that. But I have already read this. Uh, I've read this in one day. It's just you're gonna have to watch um, the spring TBR and books book recommendations to find out more about it. But I have of course loved it. It was beautiful, beautiful read. Um, a lot of it takes place in Italy, so yeah, you can just imagine the descriptions. They're stunning. So. Yeah, a room with a view. The next book that I've gotten, I've gotten as a recommendation uh, from a channel called Anna Wallace Johns Johansson. Sorry, um, it's called uh, Happy Hour. I have gotten this like months back, and I'm yet to uh, read this. Um, she just made me pick this book up fast, and I'm gonna leave her video down below. It was beautiful. The way she talked about this book, it just made me want to read it like ASAP. And I'm gonna do that. I'm just waiting for the audiobook because I want to experience it through audio as well. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for my audible credit, of course. So um, when that gets in, I'm gonna pick this one next. So this is a book about two girls apparently living their best life in New York. They're like, I think they're maybe some poor students. They don't have much money. Um, she, I know it's been compared a lot to Sally Rooney's writing, which I love, of course. Yeah, it's about them getting invited to all of these like social, like high society parties and like navigating their life through like rich people's circles without actually having a lot of money. And uh, she said it's a lot of because she is from New York. She said it's a it's um really good portrayal of new york that's happy hour i'm gonna leave her video please please watch it it's one of my favorite videos um and one of my favorite channels of all time actually i'm i have already filmed reading my favorite booktubers uh, favorite books of 2021 i just have to edit that one but i think this one is going up before that so um she is one of those booktubers so yeah it's a great channel please just give it a watch uh, if you need somebody new somebody cool um to break up your subscription so yeah, the next book I got was my 
brilliant friend i think that is called it's not this is a, a copy in serbian um i just love this publisher um yeah it's by elana ferrante she's an italian writer and um yeah i just thought i want to pick something up from her i just looked up where to start with elana ferrante and uh, a lot of people start said this one so i just picked this one up and i'm gonna give it a read i'm very like excited because this is apparently like a either a coming of age story or just like a life saga or something which i'm always here for i love family sagas or like coming of age stories slices of life i'm trying to get like really fast because i want to show you all and it's already been eight minutes and i showed you just four books and i have like 50 more to go so <laughs> it's a really fast video this one is one of my favorite covers of all time same publisher as, as this like i'm telling you they have the best best books this is raven leilani you probably know this book by a different cover which i'm gonna put here so and i must say even though i like this cover i prefer this one uh, for some reason i just i think it's just beautiful it's simple and like really really, really great uh it's called luster um this is the book um yeah it's a i think it's about like a love triangle or something not a love triangle but like a relationship of a woman with a married man and apparently i'm into reading about women that don't know what they're gonna do with their lives because that's relatable so uh, the next book i got it's also a very famous book from the same publisher look at this cover i'm sorry just i know it's the same publisher again this is brit bennett's uh, the vanishing half uh you probably uh heard it a million times it's a very very famous book about two sisters one i think one can pass as a white and the other one can't and they are separated throughout life and it's about them what happens to them like when they connect i think their daughters maybe find their way to each other i don't know it just sounds very good i think it's been adapted to um netflix show maybe i'm not sure or it's gonna be a movie something i'm just gonna write here probably when i look up after the video but this is the vanishing half with bennett it has been on my uh, wish list of authors to read for a long time so i was very excited when i saw this copy so i can't wait to get to this one the next book um i don't think needs much introduction this is outline by rachel Cass. can we look at this cover I'm sorry. Actually, we match. Don't you think with this matches me? Like with the sweater? Honestly, I have read the blurb on the back and I still don't know what this is about. I know it's about a woman and her life and probably her dealing with herself. So again, very much relatable. I got this because I have seen it circling around on YouTube and I think I've seen this on i guess maybe on five or six channels that i've seen this so far and i know rachel kask is a writer to read and i don't want to miss out on things so i picked this one up as her first and i think this is a part of a trilogy because i've also seen like these covers here can you focus no i'm doing the beauty bloggers you know but yeah this is rachel kask the prettiest book i own i think now so the next book i'm gonna pick something up from this pile here <laughs> Just to keep them even right the star of the sea by erin morgenstern ah uh, morgenstern did i pronounce that right yep i don't know i just want to know what the fuss is all about the star of the sea i have yet to read it it's a big chunk of a book i'm very much for some reason intimidated because the text is also very small i want to read it you know but since buying this one, I have realized that maybe uh, this one is not the one that I should start with. Erin Morgenstern and The Night Circus is probably something that I would like more. But I don't know, not sure 100%. Happy to have it. I'm gonna read it when? I really don't know. Hopefully sometime soon. But I think I'm gonna leave the fantasies for when the weather gets colder. Now I'm more into classics, general fiction. So um, this one's gonna have to take a back seat you know but someday soon the next book also has been on a lot of spring recommendations list that i've seen and it's called pachinko uh by min jin lee i think you know this book also different cover because it's published by serbian publisher laguna and um yeah 
Uh, it's very similar to the original cover, I think. Just, I also prefer this one for some reason. I think it's cool, white. I don't know. Yeah, you've heard about Pachinko Family Saga. I think a woman marries to a gang member. I'm not sure, but I like as what we have heard. I'm just kind of repeating myself after all of these books. You know the books that sounded like something I would like? I like Family Saga, so there's probably gonna be a lot of those here. Maybe also from this haul you can see how my taste is all over the place. I like I read from most of the genres and I'm very happy myself. So this is Pachinko by Min Jun Lee. Um, also, um, JK Reads read this recently, I think, and that's why I picked it up because I think she made me like sure that I want to read it because I knew about this book way like before but once she read it I think I was like okay this sounds like something I would love so um yeah I think it's also getting adapted into a movie or a series not sure next book I picked up because I just think I'm gonna love In Cold Blood by Truman Capote I've heard it's one of the best true crime but I don't know if it's like a completely true crime I think this is non-fiction Non-fiction true crime. Uh, I think the writer in this actually befriends the killer. I'm not sure. I just heard it's, I mean, it's a female classic as well. I think um, a lot of people really loved and enjoyed this one and still to this day recommend it as well. Again, J.K. Reads. My boyfriend's work interrupted me again. But yeah, <laughs> to my capote. In Cold Blood. I cannot wait to read this. I, I, I think I'm gonna be reading this in one sitting. Now for some other books that I'm gonna be filming a video of. And that's why I'm gonna be very short and I'm gonna show them very fast. Okay, are you ready? So this is Night Bitch and Villa Triste and Gigi and the Cat. These are the books that my lovely, lovely friends from here on booktube have gotten me for Christmas. Uh, I'm gonna be dedicating a whole video to them. I'm gonna be reading all three of these books as like my friends, uh, reading like the books that my friends got me. Kat really knows me. She knows that, I, I, I mean, I wanted this book for so long and I don't know how she just, I don't know. It, it, I was very surprised when I opened them because all of them sound like something I would read and I was very happy because I was like, okay, my friends actually know my taste. They know I want to read this and they got me. So I'm over the moon and I'm going to be dedicating them the whole video. So Night Bitch and it looks amazing. Look at this guy. So good, right? The next book is Villa Triste. I, I think also this is a of a man going back to the place where he once had a, a, this amazing life with some people, reminiscing, thinking of his time there and these in, like interesting people that he came across. And I don't know, it just sounds like my my book, you know, spice of life. Give it to me, you know. I love people looking back on their life. I don't know why. This just you know thinking of these incredible people that I once knew or even bad people and just like reminiscing that's what I do all the time and I want to be like when I grow old I just want to be this you know fabulous old lady that has lived a full life and has like all of these anecdotes and stories to tell and I don't you know I just uh, the next book is Gigi and the cat when I read the back of this I was like thank you it says Gigi's days are filled with cigars lobster lace and superstitions excuse me the education of a future courtesan. This cover is... <sighs> now, for the, some books that I had to pick up for uh, my last semester that I have since finished is Orlando by Virginia Woolf, which I loved. It was so good. Uh, since then, I have um, decided to pick everything Virginia Woolf has ever written, and that's going to be on probably my next haul that I'm going to film. So um, this is Orlando. It was this book is unlike anything I have ever read, literally unlike anything I've read, ever read. It's about a man, a woman. I don't know. Uh, it, a man just happens to turn into a woman at some point in his travels and just see gets to experience the world from both point of views. So it was, it was, it was extraordinary honestly i have never in my life read anything like this so next book that i have gotten because of uni and the university so i study english so um 
of course we have to read the hamlet by shakespeare and what else am i gonna read yeah so the next books I'm also gonna be quite short because they're probably of no interest to you because they're also not English covers. But these are the four books that I've got, which are all backwards, I'm sorry. These are by Haruki Murakami, which is one of my favorite writers of all time. It's funny, my uh, relationship with him, the first book I read from him, I hated, literally despised, and I still think I do to this day. Second book, I just didn't like. And after a while, I just got the urge. And of course, I have, I have like said that I'm not gonna read Murakami again because the first book I hated, the second one I just didn't like. And after a while in quarantine, like the first year of COVID, I was like, okay, why am I getting this sudden urge to read Murakami again? And I read the third book of his and I fell in love. And that made me re-question my hate, hatred towards the first book and my dislike towards the second and since then I have convinced myself that I actually liked the second I just wasn't as um, mature back then to uh, understand what he was writing I was like second year in high school when I read Norwegian Wood which is this one and yeah since then I have just uh, told my boyfriend to read the Norwegian Wood I recommended the book without even liking it myself and I was like okay I think I, I would be liking it right now and I think you should read it and he did and he fell in love with the book and I said I want to reread it again so um, there's also first person singular dance 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 and um, this is the third book that I read that actually made me fall in love with Murakami again and re-question everything it's just it's so interesting I don't know there's something about his writing like I hated the first two books and I was like okay, why am I missing his writing? Why am I having this sudden urge to pick something else from him? And that's when I read this and I fell in love. This is the colorless Sakuru Tazaki and his years of pilgrimage. And that's a long name. Next book that I picked up, Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. I, you know, there is books in life that you have you know, that you're always like, oh, if I, I'm gonna, that's on my TBR, you know, one day I'm sure as hell gonna read that. And it's, you know, it's gonna be one of your favorite books of all time, right? And I have those books and I just kind of never get to them because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna read that. But I never, I never pick those books up. And I, um, now I started to decide that I actually wanna pick books up, the ones that I am sure I'm gonna love because I don't know why I'm like, like, it's, it's very weird because I keep, Picking books up, the ones that I know are gonna be mediocre. Like I mean, I can never know until like I read them for sure. But I always have a feeling, oh, I just want something, you know, light. I don't want something where like too engaging for my mind or whatever. I need some. I need a break because I also read for uni, like uni, and I need breaks. Um, so yeah, I decided like no, that's bullshit because I just keep on reading these mediocre books, the ones that I don't even like myself. At the end and where I, whereas I should just be taking the time to read something that I know I'm gonna love so yeah A Tale of Two Cities has always struck me as a book that I'm gonna love and enjoy and now I finally picked it up it's a beautiful penguin edition I, these are my one of my favorite editions of books of all time I want to collect my classics in this of course in the Clothbound Classics, but uh, in the Clothbound Classics collection of Penguin I have a problem of um, not liking all the colors. Pride and Prejudice, they did you such a justice, like, ugh, that's an ugly color, ugly, ugly, ugly color. So yeah, that's the one that I... Why am I rambling so much? Like, I haven't spoke to you guys in so such a long time, so I'm just kind of rambling. But yeah, um... Penguin classic, like Clothbound Classics, I'm collecting, but only in my acceptable colors and the other ones I'm just buying like this. So one day I'm gonna have cool shelves. Next three books I picked up for a video that you're gonna see. So the, these three, um, you're gonna see in the video that I told you about, like reading uh, my favorite booktubers favorite books of 2021 it's a little sneak peek these three are all in that video so um i'm not gonna be showing them today because i'm gonna be uploading a video probably like tomorrow or the day after so yeah rude my mom just interrupted me but yeah so the next books that i have picked up are also for spring reading uh and 
one of these books has turned out to be one of my favorite books of all time it's gonna be i know it's gonna be i have read it and i cannot stop thinking about it it's i'm not gonna talk too much because i'm so emotional i'm gonna start to um cry so those books are Anne of Green Gables and The Wind in the Willows. I want to show you the covers of these books. Aren't they beautiful? I think, can you see them? I think they're just so gorgeous. This is how they look from the side. I don't know, they're just so gorgeous. This is The Wind in the Willows and Anne of Green Gables. This is my favorite copy that I've ever seen of Anne of Green Gables. And it's so ha I'm so happy that it is because this is the book. Sure as hell gonna be on my favorite books of this year. I cannot stop thinking about it. I'm gonna tattoo Kindred Spirit on myself somewhere, like just wait for it. Like it's gonna it's gonna happen. <sighs> if you haven't read Anne of Green Gables and you consider yourself in need of some happiness in your life or some warm warmth or something, just something to remind you of the small things in life and how those are the ones that we should focus on please there's like i stop watching this video like stop doing whatever you're doing just please go and read it you're not gonna be sorry you're really not gonna be sorry it made me so happy i connect to Anne so much i want to go and live somewhere in a forest on a in a field want to lie in grass you know touch grass it really put me like in a it's such a weird mood because since reading this i just want to go somewhere i want to go out from the city and i've always considered myself a city girl and now all of a sudden i just feel like i want to get away i just want to go somewhere and breathe some fresh um, air and see the nature and just enjoy a slower way of living and yeah and of Green Gables, love it, love it, love it. The Wind in the Willows is the next one that I got um, for spring because this one has also been on so many recommendations. And these books are also very pretty because they have like a, um, every chapter has a little drawing before. So yeah, um, I'm gonna read this one and probably, hopefully also love it as much as I love Anne. And yeah. And we have the last two books. We have come to the end of this video, so. The last two books, um, yeah, the first one of those two is uh, the second book in Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. This is called Aristotle and Dante Dive into the Waters of the Universe. Like the first book is one of my favorite young adult books of all time. I just love them. I love their story. I enjoyed the first book so much and um, yeah, I miss Dante, honestly. I really want to read more. Uh, I want to read this book because of him. Sometime soon I'm gonna get the urge. It's just not now. I'm really into reading books about spring, about nature, about um, cottages in the woods. I don't know. I'm in that mood right now, so this one will have to wait as well. And the last book that I've picked up, uh, it's an old, 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 old YouTube favorite. Um, it's Strange the Dreamer, and I'm also like a bit ashamed that I've never read this, but it also sounds like something I would love. Honestly, it's good because I now I kind of forgot what is it about. <laughs> so I'm gonna be very surprised probably when I read it. I just know it has a, one of the most beautiful writings of all time, and I like my flowery writing, so um, I'm very excited to pick this up. I think it was one of Kat's favorite books, I'm not sure if it still is. At the beginning of her channel, she used to speak about this book a lot, so. Um, yeah, it, when I see it, I assume for some reason I always think of her. So yeah, I'm gonna pick this one up and that's all. Those are all the books I have spoken so fast. Oh my god. So many. Honestly, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Well, yeah, I'm uh, very excited about my book that I got and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye!